cookies that we made. Made two bags of the icing. I'm just waiting for Hector to get out of work so that way him and Miguel Angel can do it together. Since we did the main part, they can ice all the cookies together. We have some star shaped ones, some lobster shaped ones. These are actually really cute. And then we also made these um, other sugar cookies. I was biting it. So they're actually really good, really sweet. I think I prefer taste-wise these, but looks these definitely. That was actually the first time that we ever made sugar cookies. So like my inner child is just so happy. And Miguel Angel is actually really good at making cookies. He's a natural. I would roll out the dough and he'd get the little cookie cutters and he'd cut the, out the cookies. And yeah, so now we're just waiting for daddy to get home and we're gonna ice them. Gonna continue reading my book. vlog on my socks and shoes because I'm gonna work out. I just finished my Bible journaling and my prayer journal and I'm surprisingly feeling like really good today. I think it's because little Miss Isabella did not wake up the whole night so she slept the whole night which on the days that she sleeps the whole night it's just amazing. I just wake up feeling so good and so I feel great. I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of a treadmill, but I don't want to do too much because I noticed a couple weeks ago that I decided to do five miles <laughs> for my workout and the whole day I was kind of just like fatigued and like drained, like no energy whatsoever. So I think today I'm gonna take it easy and I'm gonna just do 30 minutes to an hour of being on the treadmill, maybe do 3, 30, 12. Anyways, we're gonna get a workout in. <laughs> It's currently 10.57 in the morning. So far we've had a good, great morning, right? Um, I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you a couple of the things that I got at the Goodwill. I found four really great books and a couple of other items, but I'm just gonna show the books. And then I wanted to show you a couple of the items that I got sent. I got gifted a couple of items and I am excited to show you. So let's start off with the items. So starting off with the first item, it's this Bliss Cloud9 Body Lotion Weightless Moisture with Vita She Blend, vitamins B3, C, and E, and it is almond milk and vanilla scent. I've already been using this for like two, three days because I received this on Monday and I really do like it. It says no animal testing, planet-friendly, clean, 
Um, it doesn't leave you with like that sticky feeling after. It leaves your skin feeling like really soft and it smells really nice and clean. And then the next item is this Holographic Foil Eye Mask Deep Puffs and Brightens. There are two single use eye masks. I haven't tried this one out, but I just love the packaging. It is, it is so cute and so like feminine. And then the last item that I got that I have been using Drench and Quench Cream to Water Hydrator for all day moisture with four hyaluronic acids and it smells so nice so clean so thank you to bliss for sending me those products next I wanted to show you four books that I picked up at the Goodwill the other day the Goodwill that I go to has their books on sale so if you buy one through five books you pay $1.99 if you buy six through ten $2.99 11 through 15, 399, so forth. You you get the picture. So I only bought five. I bought one book for my son, and then the rest were for me. <laughs> and so I got five, so that means I paid 199 for all these five books, and that's about 40 cents each. So take that into consideration. I'm gonna show you a really good one. Um, okay, The Hunger Games. It still has a tick sticker from, I guess wherever they were trying to sell it before. I'm not even too sure. But it looks like in really great condition. It's the Hunger Games. I've seen the first movie and that's about it. <laughs> I don't even know how many movies there are to be honest, but um, I did enjoy the, the, the movie. So I'm actually really excited to get into this series. I think it's a series, right? There's three books. Next, the last time I went to the Goodwill, the second to last, I actually found The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. And this time that I went, I found Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna. It's not like in the best condition compared to the other book. Like, I don't know if you can see there, it's like a little bit damaged, but I mean, it's gonna do its job. I'm actually really excited. I think this is the book though that I'm gonna probably tackle next year only because, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty big thick book and I am trying to reach my new goal of 15 bucks. Initially my goal was 30, but I'm currently at 12. Next is Wonder. I think I've seen the movie like three times. The first time that I saw it, I didn't have children and I did tear up. Second time I had children that I watched it and it just hits different. I was like sobbing. Um, you wanna show your shirt? Yeah. Okay, come here, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I've never read the book I've never read the book but I'm actually really excited to give it a go and then last but not least which I would consider a steal because I got this technically if you do the math like 40 cents each book so I got this book for 40 cents and it's like in perfect condition homebody uh, Joanne Gaines. They recently, not recently, well, I, I think like last month or two months ago, I'm not even too sure when, but they released this new, I guess, series on, is it HBO what Max? Is it, we would tune in every single Friday when it, they were released, and we would buy takeout and eat and watch the show. And so we finished the whole, I mean, there wasn't like much many episodes. I think there was like six episodes maybe, I'm not too sure. Um, and so we watched the whole series. And so when I found this at the Goodwill, I was shocked and it's like in really great condition. Let me show you the inside. So nice, obsessed. This one, it says here that it retails for $40. So um, I'm gonna consider this one a steal. Like it's just, I can't believe I found that. And now I wanna give you a book update. Finish the Patience List by James Kane. So good, I liked it. Gonna give it like a 4.5, maybe a 4.8, only because I don't wanna give any spoilers because if you haven't read it, it's a really good book. It's a psychological thriller. I read one of other James Cain's books, which was The In-Laws. I really liked that one. I would love to see that as a movie. Um, but this one, I just, I don't know. It, it was really good, like really good. Like it had me hooked. I stayed up to like 1 2.30 one night, just like reading, cause I would finish a chapter and be like one more chapter and then something would happen and I'd be like, no, let's, I have to continue you and then by the time I knew it was like 1.32, it was really good. So I finished that book and then I'm currently reading another one of James Cain's books which is The Girl Outside. I think I'm 10% in. That's That one's supposed to be like a fast read because it's like less than 200 pages, maybe like 150, 180 I think, I'm not too sure. I'm enjoying that one right now too. The other night 
I stayed up to like two in the morning just reading this one and like annotating, taking like notes and I just, I really enjoyed it. I need to continue though because this was probably, when I did this was probably like four or five days ago. I don't want to just like stop and not continue because I tend to do that. Um, but I'm on page 122 and it's pretty good. I've learned what the difference is between a mutual fund and an index fund. Lastly, I want to, I wanted to do a TBR jar. I've been seeing them all over YouTube and I think it'd be such a fun idea. Basically, you write down on a piece of paper all of your two TBR books, so to be read. You choose one out of the jar and whichever one you choose is the book that you're gonna be reading. Um, so I think that's such like a fun and great idea. Typically I've been seeing that people have been doing these like at the beginning of the month for the month ahead, but I think I'm gonna give it a go today. <laughs> so those are the things that I wanted to update you on. I hope you're having a great day so far. We're having a great morning, right Isabella? Mm -hmm. Say hello. got this idea off of Pinterest and I thought it would be so much fun for him to do. Um, so far I think he likes it. Yeah, that should keep him busy for a little. Gingerbread man activity was going well for like 20 minutes and then he got bored and my idea with the whole gingerbread man activity was that he was gonna do it throughout the week color it here and there but he wanted to hang it so I hung, I, I hung it hallway because we have like a little hook there where a picture frame supposed to go but and then like 20 minutes passed he said that he didn't want it he wanted it to go in the trash it is outside <laughs> uh, near the trash area I don't know what happened it is what it is anyway so that was a complete fail I created the TBR jar I know this isn't a jar it's actually a vase so I did mention that I wanted to do a TBR jar. Basically you choose one and then that's like the book that you're gonna be reading. So there's 40 different options in here. Five out of the 40 are free pass, meaning I can choose whichever book I want. And then I have a few that are books that I currently have. Some other options like it has to be Kindle Unlimited, a specific color. So there's several different options in here. And as time passes on, basically if this works out, I'll continue adding more. And if I happen to purchase more bugs I'll just toss the names in here the six that I'm gonna choose right now is gonna be for the month of December today's actually the 14th I don't see myself getting through all the six only because I'm currently reading one book I do want to have options okay so let's start this little TBR I'm actually very excited I'm not gonna look okay first one a pink cover on it so basically the book has to be pink and i think i know which one i'm gonna do gonna get on amazon really quickly so i chose a book i think i'm going to be reading when we believed in mermaids i read the reviews and i kind of skimmed it a little yeah i think that will be interesting not to mention that one's on kindle unlimited next one okay fantasy romance i don't think i've ever read a fantasy fantasy romance book let's see so i think i have one it's king of battle and blood um it's also on kindle unlimited i'm trying to choose all of them kindle unlimited if we go this route it can get costly so far we have two bucks i i think this is a, a romance fantasy romance okay next let's see a blue book <laughs> basically the book has to be blue um okay oh i know which one wonder I, I actually have that one i actually purchased that one at the goodwill this past weekend so wonder will be that that third one malibu rising okay this one has been on my tbr list for a while ever since i finished reading the seven husbands of evelyn hugo really enjoyed that one i think i finished that book like in two days because i was just like so hooked yeah i want to give another one of our books a go four we need two more free pass free pass free pass <laughs> book with flowers on cover and actually 
have a few that I already have in mind, two actually. So one of them is Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score, and then it starts with us, Colleen Hoover. I don't know which one. I think I'm gonna do It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover, only because I've been, oh, book two of two. Okay, just kidding. We're not gonna do Colleen Hoover because I haven't even read the first one, which is It Ends With Us. We're gonna do Things We Never Got Over. Oh, and I think it's on Kindle Unlimited. So then that's gonna be the fifth one. I forgot to mention that these are in no particular order, so I can pick and choose as to like which order I want to read them. Okay, last one. Okay, so basically the book has to be over 500 pages. So, uh, like I said, I have different options here. This is like my first full year of actually like reading and trying to keep up with it. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, so yes, yeah, so my goal was 30 for the year, 30 bucks, but I only got to read, well, I'm currently at 12. The year isn't over yet, so I have two weeks. I switched my goal from 30 now to 15. I feel like that's like a more approachable goal. Okay, so that concludes our little TBR jar. Hopefully next month I'll have an actual jar. Okay, so happy Thursday. I hope you're having a great day. Great morning, great noon, afternoon, great evening, great night. Woke up today feeling Mommy. terrible. Oh, he wants to do the gingerbread. I picked one up yesterday when I went to go pick up the groceries. I got off real quick. So I had done a curbside order. Yeah, now he wants to do it, but we had planned to save that for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. But I think we might do it today when his dad gets home. Anyways, anyways, I woke up feeling terrible today. I don't know what it was. I just did, I just, I don't know. Initially when I woke up, I felt okay, but then like as the day went on, I just started feeling like, I don't know, so like tired, like, I didn't get enough sleep. I'm not even too sure. I'm, I, I know I woke up last night once, but anyways, long story short, I'm in a better mood. Um, Hector actually texted me a couple hours ago saying that he got us some tickets to go see a comedy show. I've been wanting to go to this show since like two, three months ago. I don't even remember. That was very sweet of him. So we're gonna be going this Saturday. I wanted to show you a couple of things that I got yesterday at the store. Um, so I picked up this like super de duper cute little apron at Walmart for like $13. It's like a beige color. It's looking white. I don't know why, but it has a little bit of white, but it's just so cute. I don't have an apron and I've been wanting a super de duper cute one. And this is just adorable. Planning on going back um, and purchasing two more. One for my mother-in-law, one for my mom, because I have an idea for Christmas. Basically, I'm gonna be tracing the kids' hands and then sewing their hand print. So that's one idea that I wanna do. Um, other than the mistletoe painting craft that we did from like Vlogmas day one, which I still have to finish. And then I got Little Miss Isabella for Xmas. These little bath foam letters and numbers, only $5. I think it's a pretty good deal. I feel like I don't have to try so hard with her because she's like very little. And then I picked up one of these little, he wanted me to show you. He went to go get it from yeah, the restroom. Yellow blue. Um, I picked him up one of these little bath bombs. They were a dollar and so I got him one and we're gonna do it tonight, right? Yeah. yeah we're gonna do it tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last but not least, for Christmas this year, pretty sure I mentioned it, I wanted all the, the gifts for my mom, my dad, my in-laws to be DIYs. So something kind of like sentimental that they can like use every so often or at least every year. And then I wanna do an ornament. The thing is I feel like I should have bought the ornaments already like with their color, but I'm gonna have to put paint inside and kind of like twirl it and figure out if that's gonna work. If not, I'm gonna have to go purchase actual red ornaments and then my idea is to do Miguel Angel's handprint on one side and Isabella's handprint on the other. So that's that and then for my mother-in-law and my mom I wanted to do the apron with the little hand sewn on and then in-laws because they do read. I wanted to print out a picture of the kids kind of holding their hands up and then and them kind of hanging from like a cord. So a lot of DIY projects the thing is, time is ticking. Today's already the 15th, so I have literally less than 10 days. Hope you're having a great day, and I hope you're excited for the holidays. I am. I don't know. Anyways, happy Thursday.